Hi guys, welcome to the Chef's Backyard. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious cheesy steak sandwich. We're just going to need a few ingredients. We've got our bread. We're using an Asiago cheese bread. We've got some roast beef. Uh, this could be any kind of beef. I like this. This is the uh, in-house roasted roast beef from my grocery store. I've got two slices of cheese. Remember, I said it's going to be cheesy. We've got some of that beautiful gym lettuce. We've got some tomato, some onions, some butter. And we're going to season that with a little bit of our spicy mustard and some of that Chef's Backyard flavor formula seasoning. Send me an email, chefsbackyard at gmail.com, and I'll show you how to order it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is start our pan. We'll get our pan warm. We're going to go with the kind of a low heat here. While our pan is heating up, let's prepare the vegetables. I've got an onion here. You've got the root end. You've got the stem end. We'll just cut those guys off. Next, we'll cut it down the middle. Next, we'll remove the outer peel. It's too tough to eat. Once you have the peel removed, we can go ahead and slice it thinly. We're going to cook it. So we don't want it super, super thin, but we'll go with kind of about a quarter of an inch in thickness. Use the tip of your knife, guys, for this task. What you wanna do is you wanna keep your knife point, the knife tip down on the cutting board, push down, lift back up to the tip, move your produce forward. So keep your tip down, move your produce forward, move your produce forward, move your produce forward. And then you, there you have it, guys, julienne onions. For the next step of the process, we've got some butter. We'll do about a tablespoon. So into that pan, we'll add the onions and the butter, and we'll get those onions moving. We're gonna season that with our Chef's Backyard Flavor Formula seasoning. Just shake it on there just enough to get some spice going in there. Now what we're doing is we're caramelizing these onions. We're letting, we're cooking off the water from the onion, and that's bringing the sugars, the natural sugars that are in the onion to the surface, and they get a little bit sweeter and more intense in flavor. Now I've got some more Worcestershire sauce. We'll do about a teaspoon in there. Add about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce into these onions, and you're gonna wanna press those onions down into the pan, right? You don't wanna crowd them. You wanna give them room to let that steam evaporate. This is gonna take you four or five minutes to do. Okay, so while our onions are cooking, let's go ahead and we'll prepare the rest of our produce. We've got some of this gem lettuce, also known as butter lettuce. We just wanna remove those leaves. We'll just take about three or four pieces of the butter lettuce, set those over to the side. Now we'll take our tomato and we'll cut it into slices. We'll probably need about three slices for this sandwich. There we have it. Now we've got our tomato slices. Let's clean our surface. Now let's check on our onions. Let's give those guys a stir. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, so in that same pan, let's scoot those onions over and we'll add our beef. We're gonna add our beef in there because we wanna heat it up. Okay, so now let's start building that sandwich. We've got some cheese. Let's fold it in half. That way it fits the shape of the bread. We'll do the same over here. Now we'll grab that roast beef. We'll get these onions. We're gonna add onions into this sandwich. Okay guys, let's grab some butter and we're gonna toast this bread and that will help to melt the cheese as well. All right guys, so let's finish up that sandwich. We'll add some of that butter lettuce. We'll add our tomatoes. We'll give that bread a flip and we'll bring it over to the cutting board. All right guys, check out that sandwich. Doesn't it look good? Let's cut into it. All right guys, there we have it. We've got this beautiful sandwich on a nice cheesy bread with mild cheddar cheese. We've got some roast beef, some caramelized onions, lettuce and tomato. I'm gonna serve that with some of these delicious salt and vinegar chips. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon here at the Chef's Backyard. All right guys, let's see how this sandwich came out. We've got all of that beautiful goodness inside of there. That's yummy. Wow guys, that's a good sandwich. I hope you get a chance to make it. I hope you, your family loves it. We'll see you soon.